If you ever wanted to look up everything Fad Model ever released, do you look like this? Do you smile like that when you see a thing, Fad? That's what I thought. Um, so, I'm gonna head over to psref.lenovo.com. I got this laptop section. Click on ThinkPad, and it's gonna show you all the uh, the latest models. And if we go over here to um, one of the models, it has the spec sheet, has a bunch of pictures. Um, has a link to documentation, all the cool stuff. And then they've also got this uh, withdrawn products page on PSREF right there. Um, and that's going to list everything all the way up to uh, 2015. So if we click on this, um, this E550, um, has all that same information that you'd find on newer models. And if we wanted to, we go up a little bit further on the Withdrawn Products page. Here's this link to um, Withdrawn Products before 2015. That's going to take us here to this PDF. And there we go. Here's all the old, ye old ThinkPads. Bunch of info. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, you could go to the ThinkWiki. Which is, it's pretty nice for like super old models. You know, you can take a look at some 700 series and 300 series ThinkPads from the 90s. Um, all the way up to when like Lenovo bought out the brand and we got like our, our T60. Which by the way, T60 is probably going to be the oldest ThinkPad that you'll see anyone use. Um, it's still, it's from, you know, 2006, it's holding up pretty well, but, yeah, one of the last 4x3 ones. Um, Wikipedia is also a pretty good reference. Um, there's, like, weird ones that don't show up in other documentation that show up here, like the ThinkPad 8, which is like a touchscreen tablet thing. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Uh, you can also just go to their normal consumer site because you'll see there's a lot of different series. Um, if you look at this, the, the View All ThinkPad laptop section, it's going to have a, a little blurb about each one of these if you click on the Learn More. Like if you go to like the T series, you'll have like a whole like page about here's what the T series laptop is. It's tradition. It's solid. All that. Um, here's like the Z series too. They got like, you know, it's, it's sustainable. It's got that, that cool touchpad, you know, seems like a better X1 actually, but yeah, it's a pretty good reference. And this kind of brings me to this next point. The, the numbering is going to be a little bit weird for like ThinkPads. Like they've got all these prefixes and suffixes. So... You start with like the E series, which is like the crappiest ones. Like the um, all the E series ones, they have these curved edges, and yeah, they're, they're sort of ThinkPads. You get to the L series. I don't see too many people rocking the L series. Gonna be honest. Uh, P series is a little bit too hardcore for most people. Like if you're doing like graphic design or rendering like video. I guess, you know, P-Series is the way to go. Uh, there's the T-Series, which is like the mainstay. Like, if you're getting a ThinkPad, you're probably going to get a T-Series. And so the numbering used to work where you'd have like a T440, um, you'd have the T450, and those were the 14-inch variants. Then you'd have like the um, T540 um, and like the t550 and those are going to be like the 14 sorry the 15 inch variants um and it, it was pretty standard up until they switched over to generations like you had the t490 and the t495 the t495 being the amd variant um and those were like the last of the um the original 
like non-generation T-series ThinkPads. Now the X1s were doing those years like before any of the other ThinkPads, like they've always been working on generations, but the X-series and the T-series, which are the mainstays, just now switched over. So the X-series, uh, those were traditionally, you'd have like the, the X250, X260, X270. Those were supposed to be like the 12 and a half inch variants. And then they switched over to 13 inches. And that's why the new ones are like the X13 Gen 1, the X13 Gen 2, a um, bunch of other variants there too. But if you're looking for better battery, like X series is probably your best bet. Um, a lot of people like T series because it's solid, but I don't know if that extra inch is really worth it. And then there's the X1 series, which I it, it's a hit or miss. Like the carbons are solid, but then you have like the X1 Yogas, which are the hottest laptops you can ever buy because they just have one fan on most of them and feel like you could like cook an egg on them. Uh, there's this W series, it's kind of like a red-headed stepchild, kind of move that over to like the P series. And now they've got a few newer ones here too, like they've moved on to like the T16, um, T15, T14. Uh, the T16 of course is it's going to be like 16 inches instead of 15 or 14, so it's like right in the name. Um, then you have these extra like suffixes like well like the T14S and that S means it's just going to be like a slimmer version but it's going to be made with better material usually and they sometimes have like better keyboards too uh, because the keyboards have been got, getting a lot better like way way better than they were a few years ago um, like if you meet someone who's still like a you know T420 keyboard purist. I don't even think that argument really stands anymore. The new ones are, are so good. Um, so then you have like the P suffix. So you have the T15P. So that's like the performance version of the T15. But then you also still have the P series. <laughs> you have the P1 Gen 5. And then you have your P14s. And here's, a, here's one that caught me off guard, the, uh, the P15V. So apparently the, the V stands for like value, so it's like the value version of the P15. So just know that these names are kind of all over the place. And when you look on eBay, they'll sometimes like not put in the generation, which is terrible. Before they couldn't like avoid that because it was in the name. It was like a T. 490 or T450 or an X230 that kind of thing but now it's just like T14 generation and then generation number and then they have the AMD and the Intel variants which resellers on eBay from like e-waste they sometimes don't list either um, and it's it's kind of all over the place uh, there's a site dink pads that does have like pricing guides uh, they're sometimes up to date but if you really want to know how much a laptop costs just like look at eBay every day just keep refreshing adding in different like parts to your search um, let's see another important thing though if you're just looking up laptops um, I know a lot of people already do this, but just in case this is like your first laptop or you haven't messed with computers in a minute, um, a lot of these just have um, just different variants. All of these uh, processors are going to be like soldered to the, the board, so you can't like swap processors anymore with ThinkPads like you used to be able to. Um, if your ThinkPad does come with a dedicated video card, um, also be listed as like a discrete video card. Like this uh, T14 has like the option for like a NVIDIA MX550, but that's not like the standard. Um, if it does have that on there though, um, 
that's just one other thing to, to pay attention to. And it may be one other thing that won't be put up on eBay. Um, like, not listed in the description or anything. I've had more luck with, like, integrated graphics, to be honest, for, like, older ThinkPads. So eventually that, um, that NVIDIA card that's, like, soldered to the board that you can't take out in most models, like, most of them, um, not all of them, that's going to be a problem. But if you're looking to, like, sort of benchmark, like, how is this computer going to do versus that computer, uh, you can just grab, like, the processor name for the most part. Um, throw it into Google, you'll get the page for like Intel or AMD, it's going to give you the main specs. Uh, just know that like clock speed is not going to be everything, just because every new generation of processor is going to have new instructions and new optimizations. So yeah, you can just Google any of these. Um, and then if you wanted to, you can just Google you know, whatever processor versus whatever processor. Grab one of these sites, which I don't have like a strong opinion on. Like CPU Monkey uses like Geekbench. Uh, User Benchmark uses like its own tool. Um, and it'll just go piece by piece on usually just like the processor parts, but sometimes it'll go into like the integrated graphics, um, which is gonna be on the processor. Just integrated in there. Um, sometimes you'll have to search the integrated graphics like separately for benchmarks, but I mean, all this is really going to do is just tell you that a processor from a decade ago is kind of crappy compared to like a new one. Uh, but it can be helpful if you're like looking up like different um, variants from like the same generation and you want to see if that performance is actually like a big deal. So, and then other things to look for, like, if you need, like, HEVC support, then you're going to want to get, like, a Haswell, which would be, like, um, Intel Gen 4 newer, um, and if you need, like, AV1, like, encoding support, then you're going to want to get something that's, like, way newer, um, and that's really if you just want to compress a bunch of videos to, like, AV1 to where you store like a bunch. Um, but you're gonna want to get that from like a lossless kind of source, so it's it's a whole thing. Um, but yeah, just for every generation of processor, there's just gonna be different improvements. Um, they're kind of like split up at this point to different like levels. So anything that's gonna be like Haswell and newer is gonna be x86 hyphen 64 hyphen v3. And then anything like Skylake and newer is going to be like XA6 hyphen 64 hyphen V4. And they add extra instructions, different op optimizations. And that's why just looking at the clock speed, like how fast is this is really not going to work. You're going to have to compare one by one um, each uh, processor to another. And then, you know, if it has integrated graphics you'll compare those if it has like a dedicated graphics um, which I usually avoid especially with the Nvidia stuff um, you're gonna want to compare that too and then also Vulkan support and OpenGL support like if you have like an ancient laptop you're looking to buy uh, just make sure it's not too ancient like something like the T430 is gonna have like Vulcan support, but you get like a T420, it, it's not going to have that, so it's a, it's a whole thing. And then the classic keyboard comes into play because that's a huge thing with ThinkPads. But yeah, those are probably my go to. It's just PS Ref, um, the main page, PS Ref, the um, Witchron products, and then. Their old, old product thingy here.